Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to talk about what would happen if the Earth went through a pole reversal. There is the possibility of this happening. It's occurred in the past. It's going to happen again in the future. It's just a matter of when. I've gotten a couple of emails recently regarding this topic, and we're going to come back and take a look at what would happen if the poles did shift while we were here on planet Earth. Coming over here to the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Dean L. out of Round Rock, Texas. That is an incredible sunrise or sunset involving some crepuscular rays visible from Round Rock, Texas. Checking in on the GOES X-ray flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. All quiet the last 24 hours. However, we did see a minor geomagnetic storm visible over here on the, the Planetary K Index graph. And auroras were also visible in the higher latitudes of planet Earth. Looking at the Schumann resonance, you can clearly see in the last two days it has been loaded with activity. So those of you that are sensitive to the Schumann energies, I'm sure you guys have noticed something in the last 48 hours. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano. A little bit of activity here at Yellowstone Lake. That's in the, the center of the caldera. Everywhere else, pretty quiet for the most part at the supervolcano. Wanted to touch base on a trending story. You guys all remember the, the incident that took place in Las Vegas. The, the green fireball was spotted in the sky above Las Vegas. Vegas, and then about an hour and a half later, some people reported some sort of creatures in their backyard, and this is video footage of some guy right here. I don't know who he was, but he was clearly communicating with somebody via that earpiece in his left ear, and these are the people right here, one of the, the two people that saw what they were describing as very tall alien-like non-human creatures in their backyard in the metropolitan area of Las Vegas and right there is when they dipped into the backyard and they very quickly retreated as they saw something move back there once again in the backyard of their their Las Vegas home and they claim that they saw two very tall creatures that they were describing as non-human like creatures unlike anything that they had ever seen well there's a story going around today alien bodies with three fingered hands unknown DNA and eggs inside are presented by UFO expert at Mexican Congress with the non-humans found in Peru said to be a thousand years old and they found these apparently in some old mines down in Peru and as we scroll down you're going to see photos of what they presented to the Mexican Congress and these are the the small creatures or what's left of the small creatures that they supposedly found in these mines down in Peru right there's a, a good picture of what supposedly was found once again in a mine in South America. There's a close-up view of the small creatures that once again they're saying are non-human like what the, the people in Las Vegas were describing. They said the creatures that they saw were non-human. Obviously this one here is very small compared to the man standing here and the, the case that he has it in. This is a very small creature and as you can see according to these pictures and these are pictures of the supposed creature. There's actually two. This is the one that they showed the, the Mexican Congress yesterday. It does have a vertical torso. It has arms. It has legs. It looks like it was a vertical two-legged creature with a head, nose, eyes, and mouth. And that's being reported over here at DailyMail.com, and it's also being reported over here at Fox News, and this article is from today, September 13th of 2023. I want to go back to what we started the video off with. What would happen if the Earth's magnetic poles flip? Well, according to scientists, back in January they reported that the Earth's inner core may have stopped spinning as part of a seven decade cycle according to scientists that study the inner core. And the inner core of the Earth from what we're told is not necessarily connected to the outer crust of planet Earth. So if there were indeed some sort of a pole shift underway and if the inner core has indeed stopped rotating, from what I understand, the rotation of the inner core is what creates the geodyne that generates the magnetic field which protects us from cosmic rays. So if it has stopped or slowed down some, that could affect the, the magnetic shields of planet Earth. Absolutely it could. But what would happen if the magnetic poles flipped? 
probably not too much other than we would see an increase in ground level radiation as cosmic rays would be able to enter the atmosphere unchallenged. That's why I started measuring the, the UV many years ago. I don't measure the UV and do UV readings every single day. I still do UV readings, just know that. And if there's ever a significant change, you will be the first to know because if there's a significant change in the ground level UV readings, and that's telling us that there's a significant change in the magnetic field, then it's time to start to take precautions. But would there be large tsunamis and large earthquakes and, and continents sliding and moving around all over the place? I don't think so. And here's why, because the Earth's inner core is not physically connected to the outer crust of planet Earth. So it could stop rotating and we wouldn't necessarily know it on the surface of the Earth unless scientists that are that are monitoring magnetic anomalies coming from the, the inner core of Earth would detect these anomalies showing that the, the inner core has possibly slowed down or stopped spinning altogether. We're not seeing any major earthquakes up here on the surface. We're not seeing major tsunamis and we're not seeing continents drift all over the place very, very quickly. So will anything major like that happen? I don't think so. The one thing that we would have to worry about would be an influx of, of cosmic radiation because it definitely would compromise the magnetic shields and then we would have no direct protection from cosmic rays and even direct sunlight. So that would be, in my humble opinion, the biggest concern if the magnetic shields were to go down, at least temporarily. The last magnetic reversal occurred around 780,000 years ago. So are we due for one? I would say we probably are, but there's not necessarily a handbook that comes with the, the Earth that tells us, okay, there's going to be a magnetic reversal on such and such day and such and such time. This is something that we just have to learn on the fly. Not that I'm the oracle of knowledge when it comes to pole shifts. I don't think any of us are because none of us were here the last time this happened. But I will say this, based off of my understanding of planetary mechanics, nothing super drastic like tsunamis, earthquakes, continental shifting should occur. But I will say what I've learned about this place we all call home, I don't think this place is a planet. And we'll talk more about that in an upcoming video. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. You can always find a link down below in the description box. Look for this red banner that says, have a large video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your video into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.